Hello, welcome to Process Improvement Japan News, where each week we bring you updates on what's happening in Japan's manufacturing industry. I'm Angela Cordiero. My name is Kozo Sakano. So, Sakano-san, what's happening these days? Uh, Toyota held a stockholders meeting. Mm. On June 17th, is that right? J June 17th, that's mm -hmm. correct. And the President Akio Toyoda explained about what's taking place after last week. So, has there been good recovery? Yes, it's been very uh, smoothly going on. Mm. So basically, uh, is Japan now, is Toyota fully recovered from the effects of the earthquake? Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. Not fully, if not fully, almost fully. Mm -hmm. From July, they're going to back to the normal production level. Pre-earthquake production levels are now being returned? Uh, almost. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they are going to make up for the loss uh, which they suffered mm. uh, after the last week. Mm. And how long is it going to take them to make up for the loss? Uh, within this year, they can make up for the loss. Nice. So basically, Toyota is back on track. Yes, back on track. Okay. So the next problem Akio Toyota-san talked about was the yen appreciation. Yen appreciation. Yen is so high. So they need to increase the uh, production volume overseas. Um, I know he's a little bit worried about losing competitiveness. That's right. But there is a very high demand internationally. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Mm, in the overseas market, mm -hmm. uh, they have a demand for new cars, uh, 78 million cars. In the next 12 months, it's predicted that 78 million Toyota cars are going to be sold around the world? Yes, in this business year. That sounds fantastic to and, me. And uh, more than 50% will be sold in India mm -hmm. and China. Nice. Um, okay, uh, what else is happening? Well, uh, there was a recall problem mm. and that was a big issue, mm. but eventually there was no fault on the side of Toyota that was uh, approved by the U.S. authority. You mean uh, Toyota has been found to be not at fault for the Prius defects? No, no guilt. Nice. Okay. And what's happening in terms of the professor who initially sued Toyota? Well, graciously, Toyota is not going to counter sue. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, Production levels are being returned to normal. There is an increase in demand for the Prius Alpha. As we talked last week, 52,000 Prius Alphas were ordered in the last month, but only 3,000 were being produced. They are needing to increase their levels on that one. Uh, more workers are needed. Yes. Toyota needs at least 4,000 seasonal workers. Mm -hmm. And of course, the suppliers also need workers too. Where are they going to source these workers from? Well, basically from anywhere, but they'd like to extend an opportunity to the earthquake-stricken uh, area. Uh, they're offering a very unique deal to um, workers who are coming from outside the area. Yes, if they come to Toyota from those areas, mm -hmm. Toyota is ready to offer house, houses and dormitory for their family too. That's quite amazing. I know they usually offer dormitory space, but for their families as well, that's fantastic. Yes, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a win-win situation. It sounds like as well Japan's economy is recovering and, and, um, and growing. This is a good sign. Yeah, that's a good sign, though the future is uncertain, but yes. uh, that's all the more the reason why the life is so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the uh, stockholders meeting. Okay, yes. Uh, they are going to reduce the number of directors from 27 to 11. Ah, uh, yes, I did hear about that. More than half of directors are being ousted. What's going to happen to them? Well, usually they go to the grouping uh, companies. The Toyota group companies. Group companies mm -hmm. and suppliers mm -hmm. and take a good position. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, it's causing a little bit of friction at the moment. Mm, yes, um, I better not uh, uh, get into that. Get into that. <laughs> Touch up on that little. Bit. <laughs> Could you just talk a little bit about why they've reduced? Toyota decided to reduce and get get rid of so many um, directors. 
Well, this is again for the sake of uh, their customers. Mm -hmm. Focus on customers is very important. Mm -hmm. When problem occurs, mm -hmm. they can cope with very quickly. Oh. Share information, and then make a decision very quickly. I see. So eleven directors can theoretically make decisions much quicker, and, and the red tape will be reduced as opposed to having twenty-seven directors. Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. Okay, makes sense. Uh, I think that's all for this week. Japan is back on track. Toyota is booming ahead. Um, thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Yes, it is back on track. Bye bye.